Hi everyone, it's Miss Laura. Welcome to Sunday School. This is the lesson for February 7th, Lesson 23, The Lord's Prayer. So, today's the fifth Sunday of the season of Epiphany. If you remember, Epiphany is the time after Christmas, but before Lent. And during this time, we've been remembering older memory verses that we've learned before. We're already halfway through Epiphany. So, we're going to remember two verses that we learned last fall. Psalm 24.1 and Philippians 4.4. 4. Psalm 24.1 says, The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, the world and those who live in it. It means everything, everything belongs to God. And Philippians 4.4 4 is, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. So let's pray. Lord Jesus, help us rejoice in you. You are good and all things belong to you. Thank you for this Bible story and for your love for us. Amen. So today's Bible story is the Lord's Prayer from Matthew 6, verses 5 through 13. So one day, Jesus was teaching his followers or disciples, and he said, don't try to show off when you're praying. Some people pray in public so that other people will see them. Their reward is that other people see them. But when you pray, go into a private place and shut the door and pray to God the Father, and he'll give you the reward of his blessing. And when you pray, don't just say words without thinking about them. Don't say the words just because. Some people pray with a lot of words because they think that will make God hear them. Don't do that. God the Father knows what you need before you even ask him. So you don't need to use a ton of words. So when you pray, pray like this. God, our Father in heaven, your name is holy. We pray your kingdom comes. We pray that what you want will be done on earth just like it is in heaven. Give us the food we need for today and forgive us of the things we've done wrong, just like we forgive other people. And please don't bring us into a time of testing, but rescue us from bad things. So, in this story, we hear what we often call the Lord's Prayer. Some Christians call this prayer uh, the Our Father. And we often would pray this prayer in church together. I said it in different words than we would usually use together in church. Have you ever heard this prayer before? Maybe you've memorized it. Now, Jesus wasn't saying, never pray out loud. He wasn't saying that. And he wasn't saying, never pray a long prayer with a lot of words. Jesus was saying he wanted his followers to really know what prayer was for. The reason for prayer is to talk to God. It's just to talk to God. It's not for those other reasons of making sure that people see us or think something about us. It's between us and God. Now, we don't need to do it in public to make it special or use fancy words or a lot of words because God hears us anyway. Now, this week, try praying a prayer all alone by yourself. And remember that God hears you even then. Now, I wonder what part of this prayer stands out to you. Are there any parts of the prayer that surprise you? Some things to think about. So you can send me a message or prayer request through the Family Ministries prayer request Google form and the link is below. Let's close with our Sunday School closing blessing. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.